yes, you are gonna need to know how to disengage your knife on the Bernina L890, but I'm gonna specifically tell you when to do it and when not to do it. Now this, I will tell you, is a pet peeve of mine. Now, let's talk about the knife. As the knife goes up and down, it cuts off any fabric that's hanging off the edge. We probably have figured that out by now. Next, if you don't wanna cut anything off, you can easily guide your fabric beside the knife. That is my visual guide when I'm in the serger mode. We just finished the video on using the seam guide. This is the part that comes with your accessories. You want the squeezy part at the top and you can attach it to this front part of the machine. Just squeeze, push down, and now you can adjust it left or right. So if you don't wanna cut anything off, you can actually set this little place where the fabric is being guided right in front of the knife. And now you don't even have to think twice. Now, why do I say you should never disengage your knife in the overlock mode? Now, keep in mind, I am gonna show you how because we do disengage it when we're in the cover stitch or chain stitch mode of this machine. So first off, if you had disengaged your knife, you don't have a visual guide so much to know where that fabric needs to be cut. Here's why. If your fabric drifts past where the knife would have cut it off, you gotta keep in mind that these loopers, as they stitch, they come up and near that fabric edge. And if your fabric edge gets too far in, those loopers will stab your fabric. Ask me how I know. We see this from time to time in our service department with broken loopers. It's usually when somebody has disengaged their knife, forgot that they lowered it or, or took it off, and then when they surged, they got too far over and jammed the loopers into the fabric at a high rate of speed. Not a good thing. So. Here's how you solve that. Never disengage your knife when you're doing the overlock. If you don't wanna cut something off, maybe just use it as a visual guide, put the seam guide on, voila, all is saved. Now, when you are ready to go from the serger or overlock side to the cover stitch, one of the features on screen is going to have you disengage the knife. So when we do the videos on cover stitch, you're gonna see that there is a time and place to disengage the knife. You actually see the lever on the underneath side, underneath on the left, where you are going to slide it from the front position to the back position. Did you see how it just like was like a groundhog and went down and vice versa? When we want it up, we all you have to do is slide it back. So when you want it down, you can see that it totally clears this area out. Now, because when we do cover stitch, there is a table that is positioned over the top of the, the knife, that's why we have to disengage it. And of course, we do the same thing for the upper looper. You see, we do that with this part over here. We will actually bring it to the lowered position. So this becomes kind of a sewing bed area and nothing is coming up and over the foot. So just remember, when you're done with the cover stitch, follow the step-by-step -step directions on the screen, bring that knife back up into position and use it when you're back to the serger or overlock side of your machine. So save yourself a trip to the service center unexpectedly by always leaving that in place and falling in love with your attachable seam guide. I hope these videos have been helpful for you. You can find all the free video tutorials on the Bernina L890 in the links below, and you can start binge watching them from the beginning and master your beautiful serger from A to Z.